man he was married and you know the people on his street they could hear screaming and shouting and throwing and you know the house is never had insulation right there were thin walls and what happens next door <laughs> the whole street hears it especially if it's a bit loud the people who come to the righteous man in the daytime say sheikh is everything okay what's going on say alhamdulillah everything's fine they be like shocked don't seem fine to us something's going wrong but why these people asking They're just nosy so want to know people's gossip want to know people's story what's going on mind your own business anyway some t- time passed and it wasn't to be the sheikh ended up divorcing his wife right the sheikh ended up divorcing his wife wife you know the marriage couldn't continue people of the street came running to him again the sheikh now tell us what happened then they thought he wasn't speaking because you know it's his home and it's a situation at home they thought now she's gone tell us what's the gossip what's the story this next statement of the sheikh write it with the ink of gold and if you write it with the ink of gold on the wall of the kaaba it still won't do justice to it if you wrote it with the ink of gold and hung it up on the wall of the kaaba it still would not do justice to this line what did the sheikh say he said how indecent would it have been of me to expose my wife when she was my wife how indecent would it have been to expose my own home when she was my wife tell you what's going on that's if i go around telling people what's happening between me and my wife how do i look i look like the stupid one the idiot and that's exactly what people do today whether it's the husband or the wife going around telling everybody what's going on at home yeah don't think you look like the good one don't think people who are listening to you think mashallah this one's the victim this one's a good one no those people look like the stupid ones especially when they go around telling people who can't help them of course in situations where they go to a counselor they go to somebody who can help them a mentor that's a different situation but just going around sitting in every gathering every place uh, in every barber shop and telling everybody the story who looks like the idiot the person who just left the story there because he or she has now just exposed their own home to everybody nobody needed to know so the sheikh said how indecent is it that i expose my own home while she's my wife then he said he said now that she has gone i now that she's divorced i have no right to speak about a woman i have no relationship with now that she's gone i have no right to speak about a woman i have no relationship with when i had a relationship with her if i exposed my home i'd be the stupid one i'd be the idiot now that she's gone there's no relationship between me and her she can carry on i don't need to speak about her she doesn't need to speak about me principle that's a principle of life that people don't have you know you hear you see people on facebook writing oh, my wife's done this my husband's done this once i was in another country and there was a person who was driving me from one event to the other and he said to me sheikh you know my wife and then he said like a few words and i stopped him i said why are you backbiting your wife for he wasn't telling me to seek counsel he was just saying it like just general gossip people speak about their wives and women speak about their husbands i grabbed his arm i said why are you backbiting your wife for you don't have the right to backbite her and she doesn't have the right to backbite you people shouldn't think because this person is my husband or wife i can speak about them freely and i've got reign over them i've got sovereignty over them no you haven't every allah said in the quran uh, uh allah forbade us from backbiting and he said that's similar to eating the flesh of a dead would you like that no nobody likes that whether that's your son daughter mother father husband wife brother sister it doesn't matter whether it's some, somebody from within your family or outside your family you shouldn't speak to expose their faults is that clear but people don't have that now they'll sit on facebook and write everything is that clear this is why this principle don't expose your home don't open up 
to people because people are not there to see your happiness by and large especially those who just like gossip they're not there to see your happiness they just want to see a drama they just want to see a new act a new series moving from one house to another and one house everybody has troubles everybody has ups and downs right but those people who keep their troubles and ups and downs within their home and don't expose them they are the honorable ones you know some people they see so and so's house is on fire is burning think okay his house is on fire that person his house is not on fire his house is not on fire because he hasn't allowed for the flame to come out keep away from that which is useless to you which is of no benefit to you some people they have the habit they like to just listen to people's gossip this is what the hadith is speaking about don't get involved in people's gossip don't uh, engage with people with what that which doesn't concern you and this is why a lot of breakdowns in our community in people in families are occurring why because everybody wants to get involved in everything 